Hello, I'm Will, I'm the Book Geek, and I was browsing around the deep dark depths of booktube and I stumbled across Steve Donahue's video, the Guilty Reader book tag. So, let's go, shall we? I thought I'd do it, I wasn't tagged, but woohoo. So, question one, have you ever re-gifted a book that you've been given? Only occasionally, but it's usually if I've got the book twice, like if someone buys me a book and I've got it. I might re-gift it on if it's the same edition, or gift on the same one that I um, gift on my old one if it's a different edition or a nicer edition. I see nothing wrong with that, I think it's good to pass on books, but certain books that have been given to me will never leave my sight. You have to prize them out of my gold, cold dead hands. Two, have you ever said you read a book when you haven't? Not that I can think of. I might have, in school, I might have said, oh yeah, I got to the end when I hadn't got there for like school tests and things, but no, I can't think of any time I've ever done that. I don't know why you would either. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Uh, yes. Twice, I can count this. Uh, one time I destroyed a friend's copy of a book, which I did replace with a much nicer edition. They had a Wordsworth Classic Edition and I accidentally destroyed it and I did replace it. And the other one was the person immigrated. So I could never return that book unless I wanted to fly to New Zealand. Because it's not a little book, it's it's a big chunkster, you know, it's a big hardbound book. That's about, got, you know, it's like that. Have you ever read a series out of order? Yes. Not usually by choice, usually by accident. That's that's the quirk. Um, like, I've been sent books or gifted books, and they look really good, but you never actually find out they're a series until you open it, and that's happened. And I will go back and read the rest. So, yeah. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? Yes. Wholeheartedly. That I went to college with a right bitch. And I'm not going to say her name, but she was a bitch. And absolutely nasty, vile human being. And um, she had just started reading the Harry Potter book. So when the last one came out, she was still on the Half-Blood Prince. I completely ruined the end of the Half-Blood Prince for her. And then said the ultimate line. Oh, don't worry, when Dumbledore, di when Dumbledore dies, you'll cry like the rest of us. She was not happy with me. So... But she deserved it, so, yay! <laughs> <sighs> have you ever dog-eared a book? And have you ever told someone you don't own a book? Oh, dog-eared first. Yes. Usually when I'm not thinking, or if the pages are dog-eared anyway, but I try not to do that. I try and use bookmarks, be it whatever. I will try and use a bookmark. Doesn't always work that way. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? I don't know why you would. That's like my thing. I can't work out why you would tell someone that. Yeah, random. Okay. Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? Yes, I have done that. Partly because I know one person I knew would drill me for information about the book. And I didn't want to be in that. I didn't want to have that conversation. So I did it to make my life easier. Yeah. That's bad, isn't it? That's a really bad thing to admit. Have you ever skipped a chapter or a selection of a book? Not in fiction, but I do in some sort of non-fiction, i.e. biographies or, um, or art books or historical books. I tend to do that. Because uh, if you're studying them for certain things, you tend to only go to the parts that you need at that moment. So, art books are the same. I've got a book by Jean Paul, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier in the French Paris fashion houses, and I only wanted to read the Jean Paul Gaultier bit when I first got it. So. <sighs> Finally, have you have you ever bad mouth a book you've actually liked? No, really haven't. Uh, so yeah, random. So who do I tag? The wonderful Sylvia K. I tag you. You're fabulous. I love your channel. And I'm so glad we got talking on Twitter. I have to tag the ever brilliant JD Estrada because he's just cool. I like him. And I'm going to tag Dave. 
at Wild Reads. I love your channel. He's new to this. Do check his stuff out because he's so cool. And I really like his discussions and he's really on the ball. And it's nice to see someone like that on YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, as always, all of my links and all information are in the doobly-doo. And I will see you guys later. Bye.